Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be talking about mulch. So welcome back to my garden. I'm here on my own today, so just excuse the uh, slightly jittery camera movements. I can never seem to get the gimbal to work on my own. That's my husband's area of expertise. So I wanna to talk to you today about mulching your gardens and why this may be the smartest thing that you do this year. If you are in Ontario, like I am, or actually in a large number of areas in the United States and Canada, you are likely already experiencing a drought. And uh, when it happens this early, it can be really, really scary. Uh, we haven't had a significant rainfall of any kind now for almost a month. Our rain barrels have been dry for weeks. And uh, this has led us to decide to mulch our garden this year. So that would be the number one reason why you would want to mulch. And it would be to retain moisture. And so I'm going to go through a few different options for mulch, but I'm also going to tell you some of the reasons why you would want to. So that's a really, really big one in hopes that it will help to retain moisture within the plant so the water doesn't evaporate off the top of the soil. So that's number one reason why we are mulching this year. So as you can see, we have opted to mulch with straw this year, and this has a lot to do with the cost effective nature of working with straw. It's a lot easier. We can get, um, six dollars for a large square bale and we have about four bales going so here are my uh, i can't remember what i planted here i think these are my summer squash summer squash here and uh, we've got them heavily heavily mulched another benefit of mulching is it's going to help suppress weeds which is really important as well so you're not spending so much time weeding your garden so behind me, you can see my tomatoes, and of course they are also heavily mulched. Um, so preventing weeds, really great for that. Another reason why you would want to mulch is it can actually prevent some disease in plants, things like blight and stuff like that from actually reaching your tomatoes. So that makes um, mulching another great uh, ally in your garden. It also helps with temperature regulation. So, you know, like say you're planting things earlier in the spring and you know it's still gonna be cold, it can help to keep plants warm, but it actually helps in really, really hot temperatures as well to keep portions of the plant cool. But like I said, the main reason for us this year is going to be um, for water retention because we are definitely you know, if we're already in a drought now, I'm sure the burn bans will come soon. And uh, we can't use our well to water. Our main drilled well that's attached to the house is salty. And it's just naturally salty. We don't actually add salt to it. And so it would not be good for our plants. Plus, if you're rural, you really, really don't want to be using salt water or sorry, well water at all. Because what if your well runs dry, then you can't you know, you can't shower, you can't do laundry, you can't wash your dishes. There's a bunch of reasons why you don't really want to use your well as your main water source. So get some rain barrels hooked up. Um, if you're on city water, you might want to consider whether you want to use chlorinated water on your gardens as well. So I'm kind of diverging a little bit. Uh, but so one great option in terms of mulch would be to use straw. So that's what we're going to be using this year. But I've got a few other options for you as well. So you can see behind me, we just had our wood chips delivered today. Now wood chips also make a great mulch option, but I want you to take some things into consideration. Whenever you're contacting a tree company or anyone to drop off wood chips for you, make sure that they're aged. They may be too hot to put on your, um, on your crops if they're freshly chipped. So look into that, but wood chips make a great option. I mean, you can buy regular mulch as well, um, just make sure that it's not, there's no dyes or anything in it because you will be growing food in your crops, of course. And I've got a separate video on this, so I'll make sure I link it as well. But another great option for mulch is comfrey. If you have a smaller square footage to cover, 
Calm Free um, is loaded with nutrients and minerals, so it's going to help to feed the soil. And you can actually have a, heavily harvest her, and she'll come back every single year. So you can actually take those leaves, chop them up, and use them as mulch in your garden. We tend to use it for more of a like a manure type tea. So again, check out that video I have linked if you want to learn more about Comfrey. But it does make a great mulch option as well. So if the retention of water and temperature regulation and weed control weren't enough reasons for you, a few other reasons that uh, mulching is excellent is eventually this matter is going to break down and add nutrients back into your soil. So mulching is a really great way to kind of regenerate sort of sad looking um, soil. It'll take a few years, but eventually that mulch will start to break down and add vital nutrients. It's also going to prevent your soil from eroding um, and crusting over. Uh, so any of those things that happen when it gets really, really hot, like here, and you can actually mulch over the winter as well to prevent losing layers and layers of soil um, over winter months. So some more great reasons why you would want to mulch your garden this year. So there's a few things to consider um, when you're mulching. So first, don't mulch too soon. You want the temperature of your soil to be warm. You don't want to be very cold. It can kind of work against you that way because then the soil won't warm up. So remember how I said mulching is going to help with temperature regulation? So it's going to help keep crops that don't like cold temperatures warm um, by actually insulating the plant, but it does also keep the ground cooler which is great for crops, they like spinach, that as soon as you get a bit of heat tends to bolt on you, it'll actually slow down that process. So just consider that you just want your soil warm before you mulch. If you are wanting to use your mulch as a way of suppressing weeds, which is really important in a drought season too, because the last thing you need is more competition in your garden for water. Um, please resist the urge to just dump your mulch on top of your weeds. You're gonna regret that, trust me. So get in there, pull out all those weeds, and then put the mulch on. And you're going to want, if you're using an organic mulch like wood chips or straw, you're going to want a layer of at least three to four inches to really do the job well. And make sure when you're buying straw that you're getting straw and not hay. Uh, sometimes, I'm not saying there are dishonest people in this world, but sometimes there are dishonest people in this world. And hay will have seed in it. You're going to get a few seeds in straw, it's inevitable, but hay is full of seeds and they are all going to sprout in your garden, so make sure you're getting straw. So I hope you found this video informative. Uh, if, like I said, if you are in a region where you're already experiencing a bit of drought, um, get yourself some mulch. It will likely save your vegetable garden. And also you do some strategic watering, so making sure that you're only watering plants that need it. You know, actually test the moisture level in the soil and uh, water by hand if you can. You waste a lot of water when you've got those little watering wands and you're like spraying around and not really paying attention or sprinklers, you waste a lot of water that way. So if you've got any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you have any other tips for uh, people watching this video, if you're a, an avid and expert mulcher and you've got some tips and you wanna share, please leave them below as well. And until next time, this is Corinne from Spirea Herbs, wishing you health, wellness, and happy gardening. Thank you.